Welcome back to my YouTube channel Learning with Israr for another interesting session. Today we are going to talk about INCO Term 2020. INCO Terms 2020 is a set of internationally recognized rules that define the responsibilities and obligations of sellers slash exporters and buyers, importers and international transactions. For better understanding we can divide these terms into two categories depending upon the modes of transport. First category is for any mode or modes of transportation and second is rules for sea or land or inland waterway transportation. OK. Let's start with rules of first category which are for any mode of transportation. These are EXW or XWorks, FCA or Free Carrier, CPT or Carriage Pay 2, CIP or Carriage and Insurance Pay 2, DAP or Delivered at Place, DPU or delivered at place unloaded, and DDP or deliver duty paid. Now let's define them one by one. Let's start with EXW or XWorks. Under this term the seller makes the goods available at their premises, and the buyer is responsible for all costs and risks associated with loading the goods onto a vehicle till the destination. The next in co-term is FCA or free carrier. Under this term the seller delivers the goods to a carrier or another person nominated by the buyer at a name place, and the buyer is responsible for all costs and risks from that point onwards. Next is CPT or Carriage Pay 2. Here seller delivers the goods to a carrier or another person nominated by the seller at a name place, and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with transporting the goods to the named place. SIP or Carriage and Insurance Pay 2, here seller delivers the goods to a carrier or another person nominated by the seller at a name place, and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with transporting the goods to the named place, including insurance, DAP or Delivered at Place, under this the seller delivers the goods to a name place, and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with transporting the goods to that place excluding unloading. Another in co-term is DPU or delivered at place unloaded. Under this term, the seller delivers the goods to a name place, and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with transporting the goods to that place, including unloading. Last in co-term in this category is DDP deliver duty paid, where seller delivers the goods to a name place and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with transporting the goods to that place, including customs duties and taxes. OK, now let's talk about the rules in the second category, which are for sea or land or inland waterway transportation. These are FAS or free alongside ship, FOB or free on board, CFR or cost and freight, CIF or cost, insurance, and freight. FAS free alongside ship, where seller is obliged to get the goods cleared for export, packed and ready for loading onto the vessel at the port of origin. Following FAS shipping terms, the buyer must pay for the loading services and the freight transport. FOB or free on board, this is the most used in term, where seller delivers the goods to the ship, and the seller is responsible for all costs and risks associated with loading the goods onto the ship. Another most used INCO term is CFR cost and freight which the seller pays to transport goods by sea to a required port. SIF or cost, insurance, and freight. This is another INCO term which is usually used in business transactions where seller pays to cover the cost of shipping, as well as the insurance to protect against the potential damage of loss to a buyer's order. These are some of the INCO term 2020, which are standardized rules in business transactions. I hope after listening this video you have fair idea about the INCO terms 2020 which are internationally used. Thanks for listening and your time. Take care.